Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Guys, we're going to do another Hot Butcher for the World beer. Uh, this is their Cosmic Fountain. And it is a New England uh, double IPA. It says IPA here on, uh, on Beer Advocate. But on a can here it says Citra, Wamiya, and Mosaic Hop double IPA. 7.5% alcohol by volume. And this was put in the can on April the 13th, 2020. Uh, got some kind of uh, volcano uh, wrapping, very colorful can. Uh, heat trunk uh, label on there. So it has the ABB and the hops that they've used and the can on date on the bottom of it. So uh, all the information uh, that you basically need. Uh, and being a New England style beer, oh yeah, one of my favorites, absolutely. Uh, and uh, these guys are out in Illinois, uh, can't get their beers here, so I'm very appreciative to Jeremiah uh, uh, for sending these to me. He's with the uh, Hot Butcher for the World, and these guys that uh, that are brewing out there are doing some awesome stuff. Uh, I would put them right up there with Treehouse and Trillium and a lot of others. Very, very tasty. Pariah comes to mind too. Uh, very well made beers. Uh, Untapped doesn't have anything additional. They just tell us the same thing. It's on the bottom of the can with the hops and it's a double IPA. No IBUs. So, it is time. I can't thank Jeremiah enough for sending me their beers. Awesome beers that those guys produce. Very, very hazy. Definitely looks like a New England style beer coming out of the can. And we're not going to be able to give it all in there since it's a 16 ounce and I don't want it overflowing and I don't want to spill any of this. One little last little swirl in the bottom of it. Uh, about a finger and a half on that pour. Look at that guys. That looks like a glass of orange juice. Yes, most definitely. These guys at Hot Butcher got it figured out. Very nice looking beer. Very, very nice looking bear. To the nose we go. <sighs> that smells awesome. Uh, this one doesn't say milkshake, but I mean, it's got a very nice prominent sweetness to it. So I don't know if they've used any lactose in the brewing of this particular beer. Hot aromas off the chain, guys. I'm getting pine, grapefruit, tropical fruit notes. May even been a, a little bit of some melon in there. It smells absolutely fantastic, guys. Wow. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah, and everybody at Hot Butcher for the World. Absolutely de-freaking-licious. These beers, especially the New England style, whether it's a single or a double, it is an absolute pleasure to to, to drink these beers, guys. There, I would buy them religiously if I could get them here. You would see them in the fridge every time I open the door. So, and I say that a bunch of uh, a, a lot of breweries that have got this style figured out, Treehouse and Trillium and Pariah and so many others around the country and the world that have figured out how to produce these beers that look like this, smell like that, and taste this good. So, 
We're going to get the final pour out of the can in here. I've got everything swirled up in there just in case there was any kind of settling going on. And sometimes that happens. And it's not going to hurt you. I mean, I used to be a big anti-floaty kind of guy. If it had stuff floating around in it, I uh, was not happy. But I've learned. Just like I used to think you had to have beers in a bottle because the cans weren't that good. And then over the years I've realized well, that's just a mini keg. The light can't get to it. The beer's going to stay better, fresher, longer. So uh, light and air are the two most detrimental things to beer. And so when you go, say you're going to have, go get a keg and you go buy some macro crap. And they give you a little pump to put on top of it. What you're doing is you're pumping air in there. And if you're going to drink all that, you're going to have enough friends over and you're going to drink all that, that day, that night. Good. Because the next day, it's going to taste like doo-doo because you pumped a bunch of air in there and not CO2 in there. And that's going to make the beer taste crappy. So if you're going to get a keg and it doesn't have CO2 cartridge with it and you're pumping, you're getting a little air pump, you better drink it all within 24 hours, probably 12 hours that day because the next day it's going to taste like crap. Anyway, I don't drink that crap anyway, so I'm just giving you a heads up. Uh, that is awesome, guys. It is absolutely delicious. It's going to be a pleasure to go sip on this beer and... Uh, and enjoy it here for about the next 45 minutes to an hour and then I'll come back and tell you my grade. Do the final chug too. Alright guys, I'm back. Been sipping on this close to an hour. Awesome lacing of stuff on the glass. Very delicious beer in the glass. Uh, wow, I'm super impressed. Every time I get a beer in my package from Jeremiah and his guys out there at Hot Butcher for the World. I, uh, it's just like me getting a beer in my package from Greg or Adam. Uh, with Trillium or Treehouse beers and stuff in them, or, or from uh, Brian and Krista out of Pariah Brewing, I know what's in that box is going to be pretty damn tasty. So, uh, not disappointed here whatsoever. Very, very delicious, very tasty beer. Wish I could get them here. Wow. And I am so appreciative for my wonderful subscribers that send me these beers, and, and even the breweries that send me the beers like Jeremiah's doing uh, in Pariah. Yo guys are awesome. I got the best subscribers in the world. I will chug. Wow. Super delicious. Super, super delicious. Outstanding beer. It is a 100 for me, guys. I love these beers. These New England style beers have ruined my palate. I say that all the time when I do these beers, guys. They are so damn tasty. Wow. Well, 100. Absolutely a 10. 10 plus. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, they say 94 outstanding. It is better than a 94, but it is an outstanding beer, guys. If you can get your hands on their beers, consider yourself damn lucky. Because uh, you're not going to be disappointed with... 99.9% .9 of the beers these guys are going to produce. I say 100%. And if you're looking for something like one I did yesterday, a low ABV Pilsner, uh, a great session beer. So uh, with that being said, uh, over to Untap, they have it at 4.32. That's in their A grade also. Uh, I think it's better than an A uh, with what I've got here. If you don't like this beer, you bought the wrong beer. So, with that being said, if you've had Cosmic Fountain from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. I think it's awesome, guys. I do. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's sent to me or I paid money for it. I would still give this the same grade, whether I shucked out some dollars for it. If it would have been available here, it would have got the same grade. I try to be as honest as I can on these reviews, guys. Uh, just like yesterday's beer. It didn't get to 10. It didn't even get to 9. Uh, it didn't get to 8 uh, because it was a well-made, outstanding German Pilsner. So, uh, ABV was on the can. Date was on the bottom. Very well-made beers coming from this brewery. So, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on these, uh, you need to pick them up. You need to support these guys. They do some 
outstanding work. So, with that being said, if you've had it, let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the bridge.